we have a lot of universities and um, a lot of uh, Muslims from Tunisia, Morocco and Algeria, they are coming to study. Kick okay. Them out. To Kick, out. Kick them out. <laughs> Kick them out. Kick them out. Kick them out, Danny. Kick them out. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on is that um, in order to uh, stay uh, in Romania, okay, uh, usually uh, they are looking for uh, Romanian girls to, to marry, okay, and uh, take some papers, you know. And later, uh, to uh, have this ability to stay uh, for a long time in Romania, to, to study and also to, to look for a job. So, when they are looking for a Christian girl to marry, okay, uh, most, uh, uh, mostly it's for, for papers. Are they committing muta? Yeah, they're not allowed to marry no. Christian as far as I know. They can, they can. No, that's a, that's Christian the type girl. of jihad, brother. There's, uh, there's many types of it jihad. Is. That's one type of jihad. Yeah. Yeah, Muslims do to spread the Islam. They come in, uh, to Christian country, marry from them to spread Islam like in, in that way. Okay. Because when, when the girl marry the Muslim, she have to convert to Islam. Yeah, this is the problem because that will be the second question. Usually, so... I have many friends that are, that are Muslims, they are from uh, uh, these countries I, I mentioned, right, like Tunisia, like Morocco. So usually they are doing two weddings, one in Romania and another one to their homeland, okay? So they are officializing also the, the Christian wedding and then they are doing the Muslim uh, uh, wedding. Is that okay? No, it's not okay. Christian way is not, not okay for a for a Christian girl to marry the Muslim. Mm -hmm. it, that's right. I I totally understand. Okay, but uh, you know, is this principle of open mind and you have to accept and if no, there's no, true no, love, no, no. then you have no, no, to. No, 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 I, no, no. I totally you understand, cannot. but this is what they are saying. Yeah, it's not when they take him back to their country. To show them the imam, they're mm -hmm. converting the girl to Muslim. <coughs> so actually, the, that girl becomes Muslim by default. Yes, because she's going to repeat some sentences in Arabic and mm -hmm. she doesn't know what she's saying. She doesn't know what she says. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you are not aware of what you are telling, because I don't know, is this magic formula, right? To become mm -hmm. a, a okay. Muslim. Mm -hmm. Are you really impacted in the relationship that you have with uh, with God? Yes. Okay. You know why? You know oh, why? I'm listening. Because you're denying Jesus as God. In Islam, Jesus is not God. I see. Okay. So that's one of the conditions to become a, a Muslim. You have to deny Jesus as God, right? Of course. <laughs> I see. Gabriel. Can you give me just one second, Danny? Yes. Deci să suntem din aceeași țară, frate. Te pup revolution. <laughs> Și eu la fel. Auz, dați-i afară, că ăștia o să dea foc la țară. Am înțeles, am înțeles, dar să nu se supere lumea, da? Să nu, nu creadă că vor... no, Nu, să nu no, creadă no. care cumva că vorbim ceva așa. Dar într adevăr, no, no, no. nu nu sunt de acord cu, cu lucrurile astea revoluția. Nu se poate. Nu, nu, nu se poate așa ceva. Deci așa așa o să o să câștige toată Europa. O să vezi în curând. Știi cum mă să protejați revoluția? Sunt la fel de Eu protejați știu. ca și gay. Da? Yep. Yep. Deci sunt la fel de protejați dacă care cumva ai spus ceva împotriva lor. Ești islamofobic. Ești islamofob și în secunda a doi îți faci probleme și te dă afară de la muncă. Pă, în România asta se întâmplă în actual? Da, da, da. Îți spun asta Hai din propria de... experiență pentru că eu am fost pe managementul acesta. Înțelegi? Mm. Unde aveam și uh, băieți de, nu de etnie, bă, de etnie sunt eu, sunt țigan, da? Dar am avut e, băieți care erau din Tunisia, erau din Maroc, am fost studenți cu ei și așa mai departe. Totuși, 
ca să nu fie lipsă de respect față de uh, oamenii noștri, da? Hai totul să vorbim în engleză, să le explicăm și lor. Ok, ok. Ok, so guys, what I was trying actually to explain, ok, just to <coughs> uh, keep the transparency, right? I was clarifying with Revolution that um, if uh, you are going to raise your voice against... Uh, speak the, against them. Yeah, to speak against them, to tell them that, ok, I do respect that you are Muslim, but... Do not try to influence our Christianity. Do not try to convert. Our country, basically, yeah. Yeah. So actually, you are going to be uh, um, categorized they're calling, as um, they're calling as an Islamophobic. Uh, that's what they're doing. Okay, that's that's been going on for a long time, brother. That's yeah, yeah, not, find, nothing new. Easy way to attack Christianity. So whoever opens his mouth, they told him, oh, that's Islamophobia. Mm -hmm. But if there is a phobia, that means there is a problem. Yep. When the world yeah. doesn't understand that. Phobia doesn't come from nothing. Phobia is there, that's why people talk about it. When there is a phobia, there is a problem. So why don't target the problem, then talk about the phobia? Mm -hmm. And so this is the, how right. they attack Christianity by putting that word there. And that word doesn't mean nothing. Why so, you guys don't even talk about the problem? Okay. Uh, We're talking about uh, the people who mentioned that problem. Danny. Yeah. Is if you're okay, or let's say, if the Muslim man taking your Romanian Christian lady. Yeah. Well, let's say it's okay. As the Muslim okay. man or the Muslim girl, if you as a Christian can marry her, you know what the answer will be. It no. will be no because you're Christian. Okay, um, I did had this kind of experience, you know, because in my classroom from the university, mm -hmm. uh, there was a girl and she was really passionate about her belief, about the Islamic belief and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And I did ask this type of question. So I was asking, are you allowed to have mixed uh, marriage, you know, like Muslim and uh, dingy, dingy. Uh, Christian dingy, dingy. yeah <laughs> and they say yes but what about the other way around and uh, she said uh, as long as you are going to become uh, a Muslim that will be okay you know so I, I had really mixed feelings about this one because uh, everything she was talking about the Islam I was in contradiction with the Bible with the Bible you know uh, she was talking about something and I would say wait wait that's not a really story let's take a look into the Bible like mm -hmm. in the Torah in the Talmud in the New Testament and everything you know because uh, I'm not just a Christian I'm a practicant Christian so I do have some knowledge about the Bible you know yeah. And um, I was addressing a lot of questions and they told me that they are allowed to lie in uh, their belief <laughs> if the cause oh, yeah. is the right one. Oh, yeah. They are yep. allowed to commit like uh, a crime if that's for the benefit of Allah. They are allowed to take another woman even though it's married, you know, they are allowed to do that. So I was questioning a lot uh, what kind of god are you uh, uh, are you praying to if this brother type of give me my shahada i want to take my mm -hmm. shahada for one day <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i was also interested to to know more about the sharia law you know Ooh. no and you don't want to know about sharia law you want to run the other way <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you know, Go to England, uh, Danny. You want to know Sharia law? Go to England. <laughs> I went to Turkey uh, many times, and I do have friends in uh, in UK, and they told me exactly what's going on with this uh, Islamic euphoria. You know about the. Uh, I mean, if they are going to a country as an immigrant, you know, the state are going to help them uh, to integrate them into the society. Uh, bring the the kids to the school and everything and one two three years later. They are going to instaurate the Sharia law <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So that's a little bit messy. I don't know, but that's not right at all. Did the uh, did, did your government, the Romanian government, knows what they say in the Quran? When you talk about politics, the religion no, no, is the most. Right for all, you're talking about one of the most corrupt governments in in the world, man. Mm. Okay, so how how they will allow that type of book, with threat for everybody non-Muslim, to be in the market, mm. or even to be preached anywhere in the world? Revolution and Danny, you guys know who's Dracula in uh, Romania? Um, in my 400 Vlad years Zepish, since I'm here, <laughs> I never seen Dracula. Do you know this? That's that's the <laughs> part of Romania that I'm from, Transylvania. That's where I'm from. Okay. Mm. And Dracula did a lot of good things in Romania to Muslims. He used Danny. to do it to the Ottoman Empire. He used to <laughs> them. Uh, I know what you are talking about. Do you think that was a good thing? <laughs> uh, it was well, awesome. I thing. think. Yes. Yeah. I think he should them? take it up again. Take it up again. Yes, okay. uh, Danny. Yeah. If the restarts, I will be the first one in Romania. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, my brother? I'm from Iraq. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, brother. So. Never Never trust a Muslim, Habibi. Never trust a Muslim. Ever. Brother, Man. not just don't trust him. If you find a gold Muslim, gold one, mm. don't put him in your pocket. Be careful. Okay, so <laughs> the thing is like this, okay? Uh, you can meet nice persons that are really open to listen exactly what you have to say. They are very good person in society, okay? Mm -hmm. But when it comes to religion, <laughs> there is a, a huge border. There is a huge wall that you don't have to cross. You know. Let me tell you. Let me tell you who is who is a good Muslim. You know who is a good Muslim. I am listening. You know who is it or no? No, I don't. The dead one. The dead one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, a brother Danny, with all respect, I used to be Muslim Salafi. Okay. I used to be Muslim Salafi 23 years. Okay. I read a lot of books. Let me show you something. <clears throat> Danny, this Look here. David, brother David, is uh, one of the most uh, intelligent persons that I know. I listened a lot of testimony, uh, testimony of Muslims yeah. that became Christians so, and uh, I, I me, his advice, let me, let me his you. advice is very good. Let, I'll let, let him, let me I'll let him you, take brother. over. Okay. Let me advise you. Why I said I am ex-Muslim Salafi and I'm show you a couple books. Because I'm going to try to send you a message. I study this religion when I was young. I'm a from family Muslim. Right. I'm a from Syria, from north of Syria, close of Turkish, from Aleppo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a from Aleppo from all the streets, old area in Aleppo, okay? Okay. We all, like for example, my auntie, my aunt, sorry, my uncle, he's a sheikh there. My cousin is sheikh, all of them there. Uh, can study, you please explain exactly this, what means? Sheikh meaning uh, scholar, like scholar. 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 Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, so meaning a scholar. Okay, so we drink this religion. We didn't drink water. We drink religion when we was child. Right. So we know every single point in this religion. Everything. Salafi, and you can go. Religion, you can go to my YouTube David, channel. Let me tell you what Salafi mean. Salafi, they are the very famous in the book. They read everything. They understand everything. So they are very extremists, just like you can tell are like rabbis, you know. Mm -hmm. They are rabbis, but the extremists one. Okay. Their job only to remember to read the book. Right. Yeah. Okay. And we left this religion, and I become Christian. Why? Now all my neighbors, if they catch me anywhere, they have to cut my head. Right. That's right. Yes. Anywhere they catch me, they have to cut my head. But still, I left Islam. For which reason? I'm listening. You didn't? So, 
for oh. because first of all Allah of Islam is the devil. Can you give me more please? Indeed. He uh, is the devil. Babylon, leave the customer, Babylon. According to Quran. Shabab Khaluni Bas Aki Mazala Meshwai Bad is in Kul. According to Quran, he is the devil. He sends the devil upon the people to mislead him, to push him, to misguide him, to deceive him. In Quran, in chapter 41, verse 25, in Quran, a lot of verses. I did one topic two days ago, and I prove it. Allah, he is the devil from Quran. He is the devil. And from Quran, Jesus Christ, he is a God. You have to worship him. And he is a creator. He create he he is a creator. He said in Quran, I will create for you a bird and a press into become a bird and a fly. So he is a creator. He is word of God in Quran. Right. So for to worship the devil. Allah of Quran devil. I stopped mm -hmm. and my wife she has a miracle. She she saw Jesus Christ two times. Mm -hmm. She take off the hijab and dump it in the garbage. Wow. And we become a Christian. Till right. now I have a twelve years. Till now every day I'm talking about what Jesus do with me and with family. Amen. And what the devil, Allahu Akbar, do with my people and with my with me? Look, imagine now with me, brother Danny. Right. Only the evil coming from Middle East. Only from Middle East, the evil coming, fight, killing, deviling, everything bad coming from Middle East. Why? Because Allah is there in Mecca, the black stone. Mm -hmm. Allah is there. The evil is there. Look what's happening in Syria and in Iraq and in Libya. Look what's happening in area under the Sharia law. Why? Because the people asking the Sharia law control the country. If the Sharia law controls the country, thank you. We will be like Afghanistan. Like Syria, ISIS controlled Raqqa. North of Syria controlled it. What they did? They're stalling the, they're taking the woman as a slave and selling in a market. <laughs> selling business. Right. For hundred dollars, you can buy and sell a woman. So bring our people back 1,500 years ago. All the people imagining to go front, our people, Muslim, imagining to come back 1,500 years ago to buy and sell the women and boys as slaves. So just I will advise you, brother, never ever, Think about Islam. Never. I don't. You know. If, look, I did topic with big, big um, lady, atheist lady on Arabic channel. I spoke with her. Big atheist lady. All the Arab people know her. She's name of Fat Sultan. I spoke with her. She said, look at me, Ahmed. Nobody... Prove to me the God exists, but you now prove to me the devil exists mm -hmm. in Islam. She's atheist. She said, you prove to me from Quran the devil exists. 
I tell him, congratulations. Next time when I spoke with you, I will prove it to you that God exists, you will become a Christian. She laughed. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't think about Islam. Look, in Islam, we have a two, a three things in Quran. Allah allowed to Muslim to do. For example, for I mislead you to become a Muslim, He allowed me to lie on you. Right. He allowed me to lie. Right. I can lie. And I can pay you. And I can hunt you by using women. Three ways to bring you to Islam. Why? Because Allah looking for money. Benefit. If you become a Muslim, you have to pay charity and zakat and support Allah. For example, let me give you an example. In Quran, in Quran, Allah said, if you lend him a good loan, he will multiply for you. How can I lend you a good loan? <laughs> nice. And in Quran, Allah has said, who, who can support Allah? What? Allah needs my help? What kind of Allah is that? Jesus said, you will be mute. I will defend you. Allah, what he said? If you support me, I will support you. Business is business. Business, Support yes. me, I will support you. You didn't support me, I never support you. Go away from here. Handicap worshiper. He's handicapped, Allah. He has a two right hand, one foot, and put it his foot in a hell fire. I did a lot of debate. More than four months on TikTok, just asking one question. No one is scholar, no one dawah, no one has the knowledge. He answer one question. No one. The brother seeing. My live stream didn't coming down under 1800, 1600 online with me. Nobody answer. Just disrespect, insulting, F word, K word. That's it. I and also trade. had a question for all my Muslim friends and I asked them ahead, like this. If you are going to die tonight, are you mm -hmm. going to go to heaven or are you going to go to hell? And according nobody... Islam, according Islam, going to hellfire. <laughs> even Muhammad, even Allah. Right, but they they were not able to to provide with a straight answer. They said, "I don't know, I don't know." It's all about the law. He's the one who's uh, going to decide. Uh, yes. So look, who can say I don't know? The normal Muslim. But however, who have a knowledge, he knows. Mm -hmm. Because in Quran, Allah has said, no one of you not going to there astray. So all of them going to hellfire, according to Quran. All of them. And that's Muhammad. It, that's a little Muhammad, bit sad. Yeah. مَا مِنْكُمْ أَحَدًا إِلَّا وَارِدَهَا وَكَانَ عَلَى رَبَّكَ حَتْمًا مَقْضِيَةً Everyone going to there. Everyone. But Muhammad, he don't know what's happening to him. They're asking Muhammad, where are you going? According to Quran, from Quran. Right. Muhammad, he said, I don't know what will be done with me and with you. What? If you don't know what will be done with you, what are you doing here? For which reason you are here? To do dingy dingy? Muta'a? <laughs> For following your private part, your wishes, wishes, man, you saying you are a prophet and you don't know what's happening to you. For example, let me give you an example, brother. If I'm working with some company, I'm guaranteed to get paid end of the month, right? Indeed, yeah. So how about Muhammad? He working with Allahu Akbar. And he didn't guarantee what he will going, what he going. Oh my God! From here you can see he worshiping the devil. Now leave the Quran, leave everything. The Muslim every year visiting Saudi Arabia to circling around the box black stone, right? Right. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Beside Allah, 
The devil. So which means Allah and the devil neighbors? Hello, neighbor. Good morning, neighbor. Good morning. How are you doing, um, Mr. Shaitan? Brother, I'm good. brother David, um, just yes. to add, someone in the comment comments wanted to see that Allah was a grandpa, was a grandfather. So I'm I'm just going to show them. So this is, I'm really bad at, it's, at saying it. Surah Al-Jin. Can you, can you make it she's camera bigger, brother? God right? bless you. He wanted to see where um, Allah was called a grand grandfather. Well, that's the Arabic there, right? You translate yes. that into into English, and the Most yes. High, the Grandfather of our Lord, did not take a yes. companion. Let me or a read son. it in Arabic. Yeah. Let me read it in Arabic. Wa innahu taala jaddu rabbana matkhad sahibatan wala walad. Allah he has a grandfather. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So the guy in the comment was like, "Ha ha! David doesn't read the Quran." Go to the Tafsir. What? I'm going to the Tafsir. It makes an even larger joke in your religion. You know, Allah's not only handicapped with two right hands and one foot, it's in hellfire, <laughs> but he also is a grandfather according to your own okay. religion. <laughs> and Allah, sister, sorry about that if I said Allah is female. Oh, sorry. Allah's now female. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, you know. He is a female, not female, not the male. Between. Allah is between. For that, he said he didn't take a girl or friend. And he doesn't have a son. For that, he said that. Um, also, um, it says, um, can you explain to the people that don't speak Arabic that it says mm -hmm. grandfather? Because the people don't believe it and they think that Google Translate is not no, accurate. Grandfather, Jad. Look, let me, let me tell you. If I said father, Ab, grandfather, Jad. Son, Walad. So very clear. Any Arabic speaker, he can, he, he knows. Jad so it says grandfather. For all the people yeah. in the comments, it says grandfather in Arabic, and he's an Arabic speaker. Okay, so you can't just yeah. say, "Oh, it's Google Translate," when it clearly says in Arabic that it says grandfather. I challenge. You. I'm also sister. Arabic, and I confirm it too. Babylon also Arabic, and I can confirm. I confirm yeah. too. Look, yeah. sister, I challenge any any Muslim Arab speaker to come, to speak with me, to read it front of me, one verse, clearly in Arabic language. I'm challenging him. You can see how much a scholar i teaching him to read Arabic. A lot, here in TikTok. A lot of scholars i teaching him to read Arabic. They don't know. But I study Arabic, i drinking Arabic language. <laughs> from my mother, not the, not the milk. I drink Arabic language. I didn't drink milk. So what they're yep. talking about? Exactly. Ahmed, they don't know. Is it I know. It's because the translations, they hide it. They fake it. When they translate it, they never, ever put the true meaning. So they're going to completely yeah. say the wrong thing. Just like they say that angel Gabriel or Jibril, or however you pronounce it, came. When it says the spirit came, the ruh came, so, however you okay. pronounce it in Arabic. One question, sister. One question. Why Allah, according his translation, according those coward translation, why Allah feel jealous, sad, angry, when the people saying Allah has a daughter, doesn't have a son? He said, oh, the female for me and the male for you, that is unfair. Why? Exactly. It's because he has no wife. He says, you know, it basically no, the Quran says because, that no, no, he wants sister, a wife. Because his offspring only females. Oh, yes. I remember you told me that. Yes, the offspring is only female. Yes. He doesn't have a son. For that, he, sa he said in Quran, he didn't take. He doesn't have a son. Exactly, he doesn't have a son because he has a daughters. And the Arab in Quran, I can prove it for you, they're saying the angels, daughter of Allah. Jeez, Let me so give you Allah's the verse. Grandfather, he's a grandfather, he's got daughters. <laughs> Let yeah, me and give also, you the verse. Please note for the Muslims in the chat, we are not making this up. We're getting this from your own books. D it's Brother David here has been studying for years and years and years. All the books. He has all the books. 
printed at home and he can just bring up anything. He is exposing Islam daily. And all the Muslims don't read their own texts. They don't know that Allah rides on a whale on a blanket in the ocean. They don't know he's handicapped. They don't know he has lots of daughters. It's just a false religion and Satan is misguiding people because Jesus is the one true living God. Amen. Amen. He is. Jesus is his true living God, according to the books, all the books. Chapter, sister, chapter 150. 